What up? It's your boy T Bear in reaction. Hold up. I don't know why that thing came out so loud. Make sure I got the right mic going there. I do. Anyway, today is Music Monday. We're going to kick things off with a latest from uh, one of the latest from DJ Furio. It's highlighting some samples produced by one of the young, some, um, some of the under, most underrated producers of all time. We hear a lot of about the DJ premieres, the the Pete Rock, the um, Large Professor, and many others, though. But there's times. I'm delayed because I'm looking at other ones, but anyway, there's a also there's some we have producers that uh, don't get a lot of recognition, such as the likes of um, Diamond D, um, we, the one I just did before, uh, LES, and many as well too. This is another uh, producer who um, who doesn't get as much recognition as a producer. More, more so as being part of one of the iconic hip hop trios of all hip hop uh, crew of all time, none other than Cypress Hill. That's none other than DJ Muggs. DJ Muggs was part was best known for his time on Cypress Hill. I think he was also part of a, a group before Cypress Hill as well too. A rap group, was, I could be wrong, but anyway. But outside of Cypress Hill, he's along with Cypress Hill and many other. He's uh, helped uh, shape some of the music for Cypress Hill and many other hip hop artists as well too through the hip hop era. So what else for? Do we want to check out Deacon Muzz top beats and samples? Let's get it. Lawrence Muggerud, better known as DJ Muggs, is a hip-hop producer and DJ born in Queens, New York. He moved to LA as a teenager and in 1988 he formed Cypress Hill along with Be Real and Sendog. Over the years he's produced some great tracks for people including Cypress Hill, House of Pain, Ice Cube, Exhibit, Funk Dubious and The Jizzer. In today's video I'm going to explore some of his best productions as well as the samples used to create them. As it's his main group, there will be quite a few examples of Cypress Hill tracks. If you want to buy any of my background beats that are playing throughout the video, just click the first link in the pinned comment. Okay, Let's hold on, I'll be right back. I'm back. Took way longer than I needed to be. So now I really got cut down. It's Monday. Well, I'll see what I can do. Anyway, um, how to get them together? I don't know. I'm lagging, so give me a minute. Alright, one more time. Anyway, let's get it. Let's get going. See what's up first. Let's say the membrane? No. Yeah, let's say the membrane, yup. Uh, oh, same song. Well, I said so. Same thing as uh, Take the Weight. Oh, yeah. Take the Weight. Very clever use of samples there. First of all, filtering down the track to leave just the bass, and then using a sample of a horse to create a beat. Insane in the Brain was a big hit, and was number one on the US rap chart in 1993. It has sold over 3 million copies in the US to date. Let's check the next track. Oh, jump around. Oh, you go produce that. Jump Around was the first single from House of Pain's debut album. It was a huge hit throughout the world and sold over 1 million copies in the US. Muggs has said he originally made it as a Cypress Hill track, but Be Real didn't manage to come up with any lyrics for it. Oh, There's okay. also some question around the horn sample I showed you from Shoot Your Shot. Divine Styler sampled the same track in 1989. Oh. It's possible Muggs actually sampled that track instead, so you can make your own mind up about it. Let's hear what's up next. If all men If your soul loves the sun, money rock on. If your soul loves the sun, money rock on. 
Funk Dubious, closely linked with Cypress Hill, and Mug, Sendog, and B Real were all part of the original lineup in 1989. Back in 1993, I got to see Cypress Hill, House of Pain, and Funk Dubious all playing together live in Manchester. Funk Dubious released four albums in total before splitting up. The last album was released in 2009. Let's hear the next track. Taken from Ice Cube's third solo album, it was also the third single release from it. It hit the number one spot in the US on both the hot R&B and hip hop songs and the hot rap songs charts. The sweet inspiration started out as backing singers in the 60s, working with people including Elvis, Aretha Franklin and Nina Simone. They released a lot of albums during the 60s and 70s. The same track that was sampled for Ice Cube was also previously used by Salt and Pepper for their track, Shoot. Let's see what the next track is. Slow up, wait a minute. Nah, that's a good dude. Oh! Oh, I keep getting... I am getting that's the song was that... I don't know why. Such a great track that one, and it was the very first single. Mugs used some really interesting samples to create it too. There's still a few undiscovered samples after all this time that I hope will someday be found. Let's hear the next track. Oh yeah, thanks for the bomb. I always think of Ha Ha at the beginning of the Ha Ha movie with the song. Taken from Cypress Hill's second album, it wasn't one of the singles released from it though. The album was hugely successful and has sold over 4 million copies in the US. The main sample taken from Dusty Springfield, who a lot of people think is American. She was actually from London, Ooh, England. Yeah, London yeah. Unlike a lot of the samples that Muggs uses, where he disguises them in the mix, this is just a straight up loop, but it works really well. Let's see what's up next. Yeah, oh yeah, foundation, yeah. This first joint. This first joint, yeah. The foundation. Wow, that's his first joint. So it's about son, yeah. That track was from Exhibit's debut album and was also his very first single. Yep. Although it's not specifically shown as a sample on the credits, Billy Joel does have a writing credit listed. The single didn't do too well commercially compared to the other single, Paparazzi, oh, yeah. that featured on Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 soundtrack. It also featured at the end of an episode yep, of remember, my favourite ever TV show. Oh yeah, I definitely remember, and I remember that, that playing in that episode too. I remember that episode too, yeah. Sopranos. Let's hear the next track. Oh. Head off, shot off, head off, uh, shotgun, saw off. I forgot the name of the song, but it's Shaw Shotgun, I forgot the name of the exact song. Hands in the pocket, yep. Another great example there of how well layered some of his productions are. Taking samples from a lot of music that was only available on 7 inch singles at the time. Hand on the Pump was one of the singles released from the debut album in 1991. Let's see what's up next. I hear that Muggs some, has some hands on um, Ice Cube Predator album. I did hear about that. House of Pain ended up sampling that same track, but a different part of it the following year on the Who's the Man soundtrack mm. for their release of the same name. The oh, Ice Cube yeah. track was from his third solo album, The Predator, from 1992. Muggs also produced Now I Gotta Wet You from the same album. Let's hear the next track. Oh, 
sau khi uống sample right there man you ain't had this you just you just use the sample as a loop and that's joins a uh join the rap off of man whoo so if you use that sample and that song whoo just so, so cold yo that's how cold it is like you just sent just use a, just use it as a, just a loop itself that really shows what a master mugs is at leaving his samples mm. a lot of producers often just use one sample throughout the track whereas Muggs likes to use several to keep Surely things interesting. That was again one of the singles from Cypress Hill's debut album from 1991. Let's hear the next track. Keep it funky. Mm. Oh, is this the Yap Joy? Another great example there of how well Muggs layers his samples to make his music. There's many more examples I could show of his work, but I don't want to make this video just about Cypress Hill tracks. But anyway, yeah, what well, right. I hope you enjoyed my video. Drop a yeah. comment with you. Muggs is underrated. He definitely has a rate as a producer as well too, man. Sure, sure. Not, not, not as talked about from much a producer, but he's definitely an awesome producer. And you saw right here his skills. So y'all there in that oh, note, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Always shout out to DJ, DJ Furio. I'm about to call DJ Mill, DJ Furio as well too. Not me, who also is a great producer and a DJ. Of course, you see, check out his Sunday, his Saturday scratch, scratches and he's nice with it. He just... Ain't just name. Say like, no. I, I ain't just name because I'm about to say I play myself. I'm, I'm a good DJ too. If you see me, I, I, I may not be a crazy scratcher, but I'm a good mixer and a blender for sure though. But other than that, and I like to play with samples, you know. Anyway, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T-Breast signing off. My love.